morning. Rich Nass with Open Systems Media. This is day three of Embedded World here in Nuremberg. And I'm in the Link Software Technologies booth and I'm with Robert Days, the Vice President of Marketing there. Hello, Robert. Hello, Rich. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. So you got something cool going on here and I think what you're going to show is um, one of these things are going to crash, right? <laughs> Ooh, you're giving it away. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So what this is showing. So so we um, we announced this week that we have an integration um, with Etas, who is an automotive. They have an AutoSAR OS, and and so what we're doing is we're kind of integrating their safety critical systems with our security um, separation kernel, and this demo is sort of showing that that integration um, in a sort of live kind of uh, car um, environment. So we have a remote controlled car here, mm -hmm. which we're actually controlling with a Wii steering wheel. So if I turn this, you'll see the car moves and we can go backwards and forwards, okay? And at the same time, and so this is running the um, ETAS RTAOS AutoSAR operating system. So it's safety critical, it's real time, it's all that stuff. We also at the same time have uh, basically a Linux running in a different domain, which is actually doing the infotainment. Um, sorry. But what's the real key here? These have to be separate. These, these are running on the same piece of hardware, but the separation kernel is keeping them separate. So we're keeping the safety critical part and from the bit that's doing the kind of the interaction. And so this is sort of the diagram we have, like this is the infotainment, this is the ETAS OS, this is controlling the car, we have different peripherals that go into the different side of things. Um, what, this is, what we can really show though, is that if something goes wrong in the infotainment, so if you think back to the Jeep hack, that's what they hacked into the infotainment system, then you don't want it to compromise the safety critical parts. So we have a nice big red button here. Well, hold on, hold on. You sure you want to do that? I don't know. Do you want to do it? <laughs> no, I don't want to do <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So we're going to press the red button, and what we'll see is that we basically crash the infotainment system, but at the same time, this thing is still running. So as you can see, this thing's basically crashed, but this has not crashed. So that's kind of like really showing the separation of the safety critical and the non-safety critical parts on the same system. Very good, very good. Okay. Where would somebody get more information about this technology? Come to Lynx, www.lynx.com. What's the booth number? Remind me. Oh, it's 4423. So, 44423. Great. Thanks, Robert. All right, Rich. Nice to meet you.